Dow.e Mini is an AI tool that allows you to produce images based off text that you type into its text box. Now it does this through fancy, super advanced artificial intelligence and machine learning while scouring the entirety of the internet. Obviously you could use this for great creative purposes and uh, stuff that's of use. But in this video, we're going to use it to try and generate the ultimate racing simulator and racing simulator steering wheel. We're also going to be able to use this tool to discern what AI thinks sim racing and sim racers are and uncover the true reality of sim racing. Fasten your seatbelts, it's going to be a wild ride. First of all, I just want to thank everybody that's subscribed, liked, commented, taken part with all the videos, and of course, all the people that have used our Fanatec affiliate link, our Simlab affiliate link, our Amazon affiliate link, all the affiliate links. Thank you very much, guys. It's much appreciated. Now, let's get generating. There's nothing better than misappropriating modern technology for completely pointless tasks. So we're going to type in racing simulator and uh, we're going to click run and now it's scouring the internet based off what we've typed in. Now by just typing in racing simulator what's interesting here is we're going to get uh, uh, the view. <laughs> there it is. There it is. This is basically like you can think of this as like the generic view of an amalgamation of racing like racing simulator on the internet this is the generic the quintessential racing simulator is what you're seeing here and uh well it's had an interesting interpretation let's have a look at the first one it's generated here we've got well that looks like a Vauxhall Corsa car seat and we've got the monitor in in the corner a little bit uh on on poles and uh, we've got seat rails no pedals seat or oh, headphones maybe on the side of a seat and the monitor there let's zoom out and uh, there's definitely a motif here of a uh, monitor on a on a stick in the distance and uh, oh look you can you can see as well that you can make out the ultra wide uh, or multi screen here because we've got like two separate monitors it could be three screens with the <laughs> with the mount holding just the one screen to the right hand side these are interesting designs. Uh, oh, it, this is a good sim rig. We've got a uh, seat and a monitor and another seat. So if you wanted to sim race with a friend, of course, only one of you would be able to see the screen. And a, a, apparently the sim rig, that's the, the seat that's just floating, uh, can see the screen. But the one with what would probably be pedals and a wheel can't see the screen. A little bit problematic, but, uh, you know, interestingly, you can make out what does resemble a sim rig if you were to have just had a uh, concussion uh, this this one is quite interesting it, it, it's gone for a very small monitor and maybe that's a formula wheel and it looks like this do you know what that is that text is almost the next level racing logo and then i'm not sure what the rest of this would be but it's kind of weird how you can see the different like a, a butu next level t-slot <laughs> super amalgamation to produce these images i don't know what's going on here we've got some kind of like leather straps you sit sideways the monitor's on the wall on the left and i, I don't know what you do with these straps the the ai's decided you can't argue with that um but yeah so that, there's there's the ultimate sim rig out of these ones which one would i most likely go for i think i think this one's probably the most interesting if you've got a monitor there I'm not quite sure where you put your feet um yeah I, I, it's, it's had a good go at it let's let's be honest it's had a good go at it right that's racing simulator as perceived by ai um I, we're not quite we're not quite at matrix levels yet we'll be honest now i thought we could type sim racer and see what happens if we do that and uh what i discovered was that sim racers are, are in fact just another type of sim rig As, according to the ai a sim racer it's not a person it's just a sim rig which makes sense because if you go on like reddit all the images like, if you go on there it's just people posting their sim rigs so from an ai's perspective a sim racer is a sim rig 
Um, but weirdly, by typing Sim Racer, we've got better Sim rigs by the by typing Racing Simulator. Um, look at this one. <laughs> we've got the chair. It's got like a butt kicker on it, which is fantastic. That's important. No pedals though. Uh, for some reason, pedals seem to be neglected out of these images. We've got a monitor on a pole. Uh, with a stop button maybe the maybe the monitor rotates around i'm not quite sure what it's simulated uh, it looks like fun though um we've got a chair facing a chair that's not for sim racing mateys <laughs> i think the ai is trying to suggest that sim racers could do with some company and companionship that's never going to happen uh let's say, oh look at this one that's nice Again, the chair's kind of managing to be fourth dimensional. It's kind of facing away and towards us at the same time. Bizarre. And we've got a nice triple screen set up here in the distance. Again, no pedals and no steering wheel. Just, just a chair. Just a chair and some monitors. And you're a sim racer. Um, it makes sense. It makes sense in the mind of a, uh, a, a computer chip. Now, I thought let's push the boat out here for the next one and let's do Sim Racing Driver. I thought, right, we're going to coax. We're going to coax some humanity out of this soulless AI. And we've managed, we've managed to get what looks like Matt Malone potentially sat where the pedals would be, levitated above a seat that's also pointing left and right at a monitor. So it's Matt Malone watching a chair play a racing sim and it does almost look a bit like it could be a seto corsa competition or something on that screen if you squint and also hit your forehead with a plank of wood nice little bit of wood paneling on this rig we know that matt malone's into high quality uh, sim racing equipment so he would definitely go for the wood paneling there t-e-s-a don't know what that's about but there you go we've kind of got a bit of humanity in there unfortunately the other humanity is what looks like someone that's melted into a chair and bizarrely it is again you end up with like multiple seats <laughs> it's this one again it's it's, it's a, a slight variation on the previous one multiple seats is the is weird that that's what it pulls together is seats pointing at seats oh this one's good look at that Look at that is a pretty oh there's a person melted on the right hand side. Ignoring the fleshy mound of person. <laughs> Ignoring that, mostly that's a good rig formula rig there with a widescreen. Absolutely spot on. T slot, gorgeous. Now after that success, uh we've we've gone for Fanatec because uh you know there's gonna be a lot of Fanatec wheels uploaded. And uh, we've now actually managed to design Fanatec's next steering wheel. So thanks, Fanatec. I'll expect to check in the post. Uh, you can use my Fanatec affiliate link if you want to buy one of these steering wheels, which I'm sure Fanatec will jump on because these designs are what could only be described as peak ergonomics. Um, I mean, you know, it's interesting. We've got like some kind of block you can hold on to and then a side wheel. This makes sense, actually. If you have one of the chair sim rigs from earlier, that's two chairs pointing towards each other, that is the kind of steering wheel that would make sense for that. I'm starting to understand the artificial intelligence here. We do have this. Because that's not too bad, actually, you know. It looks like some kind of lizard-skinned formula maybe gt3 <laughs> gt3 whip we do have some buttons we've got like a joystick there i'm not sure why it's, it's on some kind of stand uh but you know that's a good idea a stand to put your wheel on that would be a nice product for fanatec to do you know you have to extract what you can from these ai images uh this one i'm not quite sure <laughs> it looks a little bit flimsy um again it's on a stand out of all these images, I would say the best one. Oh, look at this! It's got a button box on top of it. That's a good. <laughs> that's a good idea. We do seem to also have an Xbox logo, so it's Xbox compatible wheel rims. That's fantastic. Out of all of these, I would say uh, th this this rim looks the best. It's kind of like a '90s Batman steering formula wheel, uh, and uh, apparently it levitates above its stand. But that is actually borderline a, a usable steering wheel. Um, 
I don't know of any Fanatec products that are like this or any other steering wheels like this. Uh, maybe if you search on eBay for car, cheap car steering wheels, you could probably find something similar, but... Yeah, there's a little bit of work to go for this AI to actually design future steering wheels, but this is what the AI thinks of Fanatec. This this is quintessential uh, Fanatec from the perspective of a computer chip. Now, onto Assetto Corsa, guys, and look what we've got here. This is quite kind of telling because you get... That looks a bit like a Praga, and I guess what with Jimmy Broadbent doing all his Praga and presumably there's been quite a few images of that uploaded, and that car's in Assetto Corsa. We've got uh, what looks like someone drifting, and unfortunately Assetto Corsa... I say unfortunately, drifting's amazing. It's just not great at streaming content, I don't think, but drifting's fantastic, don't get me wrong, but AC has turned into, like, the drift sim in many ways. <laughs> Go on Twitch, and it's just everyone drifted, like, a thousand people doing drift streams. Uh, so we've got a lot of drift in there. We've got what looks like some bizarro prototype vehicle here that's being flattened with... <laughs> don't know what's in the background. Don't know what track that could be. Mm, oh, I don't know. I can't tell. I can't tell what track that is. Uh, it seems like we've, we've got a lot of green cars as well. And then we. You, what's interesting, you can kind of see the watermarks that are on the bottom. The, the, obviously, this is, as I say, an amalgamation of lots of images. So it's... Uh, glean together the what you would sort of see as watermarks but also these could be like the rpm gauges and uh, you know the on-screen display stuff that it's associated with the seto course and then stuck that on top of it it's all really 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 trippy look at this look at this is a new design <laughs> they call it the doorstop this could be the ultimate aerodynamic configuration for a car uh completely flat and uh, maybe, maybe the, it looks wonky, but maybe for the track that it would be on, it would be the ultimate aerodynamic package. You Sometimes we're just mortals. We can't fully understand the intellect of AI. But yeah, very green for Assetto Corsa and Countryside. Yeah, I think that's maybe why I like Assetto Corsa so much. It's just the grass and the, green, the greeniness. Moving on from Assetto Corsa... Of course, we had to do iRacing. It's the sim that's popular. It's the ultimate salted simulator. I'm surprised the AI didn't just put salt pops all over the screen here. Interestingly, though, iRacing has a reputation for being a bit too yellow in colour on the screen. And the AI has confirmed this. You can't, you can't, you can't argue against the AI. It is very yellow. Look, the sky is fully yellow. It's like a, it's like someone's dropped a nuke as they took the photograph. And uh, you can see with iRacing, uh, clearly this is some kind of oval configuration with the guy getting punted. So the AI, absolute spot on with iRacing. Oval, guy getting punted. Everything is yellow tint in cover, in colour. Uh, don't know what car the, what cars these would be. That looks like something from the 1990s. Look at that. It's like a mirror floating in front of the car. <laughs> Maybe if you if you have a few drinks, these images make more sense. But I think that's captured the essence of uh, eye racing. Now, 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 with that done, with all that serious work out of the way, um, I wanted to do a bit of self research and self reflection. So we've typed in gamer muscle sim racer. Now, obviously, it's debatable the sim racing part, more like gamer muscle idiot, but look at this I, i'm actually really quite shocked here that the ai has captured my physique perfectly look at those pecs and <laughs> look at that arm muscle that's from using dd wheels um bizarrely the double chair motif has been <laughs> continued this time one facing towards the sim ring and then just a chair for your friend to socially sit next to you looking at you whilst you sim race that wouldn't put you off but weirdly i'm not quite sure why it's put the gamer muscle man on the chair that's facing the other way but facing towards us um kind of creepy uh but nicely you can see that there seems to be a tear coming off his face so that's good attention to detail uh that's after being punted in eye racing what i do find quite scary though <laughs> look at this one but first of all, where can you put your feet? It's just a sit monitor against the wall with this chair that's a pole. It's, 
this is the world's thinnest sim rig chair with no space, just face glued on there, and then a, and then a guy in a corner, just like he's walking across the camera. All right, guys, <laughs> time to go hit the gym. Oh, what's going on there? Um, somewhat worryingly, though, is this one. This is actually really creepy because you can see I can actually. Maybe I'm confabulated, or not confabulated, that's probably the wrong word. Maybe I'm sort of uh, like some weird form of pareidolia. I'm like magically interpreting this in a way that's useful to me. But uh, I, that looks like a flight sim uh, view, you know, like a cockpit of uh, a Spitfire or something. And this is the lighting colour that we use. And you see this in the, this other image as well. I, my background lighting is orange and purpley, and this is... I th it must have grabbed it from a thumbnail or something. Uh, but also, this kind of looks a bit like the uh, Derek Spears design button box I've got on the rig. And then also, that's presumably me, Game of Muscle, sat there with the you know with the camera to the left. And of course, you've got the additional seat that this has to put in everywhere. Um, it's a little bit creepy how it has kind of captured some of the visual essence of imagery that I've uploaded, which makes sense. But it's just. Just, uh, it's just, I just think it's creepy. We've got a screen on the side here on the wall. <laughs> Always put your monitor to the left of you. It helps you drive better, I find. Um, look at that. It's got a nice green. We've got three screens here. And this is what I like. This is what I would call the. Oh, this one's nice. We've got the table with the keyboard on it to the side. This is definitely not taken from anything I've uploaded. I don't know what's going on here. Um, the lonely, the lonely simric, the chair, the other chair, of course, the monitor is not turned on. Uh, peak sim racing. Absolutely bizarre. Now, next in line, we have. I thought I'd just do a generic one. I thought I'd do YouTuber <laughs> just to see what would come up. And uh, this bizarrely captures the essence of YouTubers face, obnoxious bright colours mouth open i mean look at that if that doesn't say youtuber oh god it, it just makes you it it, it. <laughs> oh dear you know it captures it you can't you can't deny it there he is there's a youtuber holding some products for you to buy it captures it you can't deny it uh I should use one of these as my icon. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I need to work on my YouTuber mouth open face. So the AI knows. It knows, guys. It's, it's, it's slowly working things out and calculating a way to remove us from the planet. So there you go, guys. Uh, that is our adventure through um, misappropriation of technology. I do think uh, this this uh, Dow.e Mini obviously has potential. I think it's it's early days. Uh, but there's stuff that you could use this for that, that I think could be uh, could be you could already get some use out of it as a creative and if if not that it, it at least is uh, disturbing and entertaining um, head over to hugging face dot <laughs> head over to hugging face dot co forward slash uh, spaces forward slash dow dot mini I'll, I'll uh, link to this in the description if you want to check it out yourself and have some fun um but uh, that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video leave a like leave a comment if you want to if you don't don't um but until the next one happy tea drinking and goodbye everyone